Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you today, people? Hello, Andrea. Hello, good Maria. Evening. Hello, good evening. Oh. How are you, Maria? Very, very good, good evening, everybody. Yeah, okay, good. Good evening, Mia. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. So today we have another day in paradise. No, this is, yeah. Yeah, yes, that's good. Let me see panel. Hello, Anna. Okay, uh, just today we were talking about the two word verbs, right? And we saw a video. And then we were about to do some exercises. We had the pronunciation. Okay, who's missing? So we have only seven. Okay, so we're gonna get started with this. Okay, how many people? Okay, good. So we have this one, uh, this exercise we were doing yesterday, remember, like pick up the garbage. Uh, we have pick up the toys. Okay, did you complete it in your platform? Yes. We don't have don't have platform. You Activated. Have... No. Oh, okay. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, good. So then uh what I'm gonna do is a uh, can you take a screenshots? Yes. Okay. So that we can, uh, so that you, because uh, when you get this, the the access to to the platform, so you can, you know, just uh, do and finish the exercises and you don't uh, fall behind, right? Because otherwise you're gonna be late. Okay, with this ones. Okay, so here we have, remember that there were, different possibilities with this exercise because uh, let's say there are many pictures that are similar. Okay, in this one, for example, you can, in this one, they have two options, the toys uh, or the books, the TV, the radio, or the jacket says here, right? So you say mm -hmm. pick up the toys, pick up the books, uh, maybe the TV, maybe it's on the floor or some somewhere else, the radio or your jacket, okay? So you could use all this, could be with pick up, with lifted, okay? So get it. Okay. Then the second one you had like turn, like you said, right? Turn, 
obviously the only things that we could turn on or turn off was the the radio the tv or the lights right so those are the only three things right uh, according to this picture there are some other things that we can also turn on or off okay. uh, then you have for example the the jar if you see the picture here looks dirty okay and then we can say, uh, for example, clean the jar up, like clean it up, okay? Because it's messy or, you know, dirty. Then, the other one here is, please put the books away, okay? In the backpack, okay? If you have a backpack, this. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so you put your books away. Yeah. And then you got home or you go to the office or whatever. Uh, oh. Put the toys away oh. for the children. <laughs> the children live, they leave the toys everywhere, okay, all over yeah. the place. Or take uh, also, you can put your jacket away in the closet, right? Or you can also. Let's say the trash, put the trash away so that nobody can see it. Please turn down the radio, turn down the TV, take off your boots, uh, hang your jacket up, okay, with a hanger. Then you put your jacket and then you put it in the closet, okay? And then everything is organized. Then we have uh, answer the trash. Uh, let's say, please take out the trash to the street or take out the dog for a walk. Uh, please let the dog out. Okay, this is, you know, let the dog go for a walk. And the last one is turn the radio on. Say, so turn on the radio. The turn light. on the TV, turn on the lights, okay? So if you don't have the platform, so you can take a screenshot so that after you can compare and practice. Then uh, what you can do after is do it by yourself and after you compare with the screenshots, if you don't have the platform in this moment. I will ask yeah. tomorrow and find out what happens, okay? Because yeah. I thought you were supposed to have it yesterday. Okay. So then we have this one. Uh, in this class, you will notice the stress patterns, okay, that you have with the pronunciation. Teacher? Yes. Uh, uh, can I make a, thing? Uh, uh, a question? Wait a minute. Yeah. Who's speaking? Anna. Okay. Uh -huh. yes. I could like make a question. Yes, go ahead. Okay. Uh, about the pickup, uh, can I just when I uh, uh, pick up my children? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. and, I'm yeah. uh, and about the first about, about the third down. Uh, I I was looking for the information mm -hmm. and I can see that I can use uh, uh, when I when I don't want something else when I I don't want a uh, a date I don't know uh, how can I explain it? Oh yes yes uh huh uh, turn someone down is like uh, reject okay mm hmm. Also, uh -huh. also when there is a, the Beatles, the Beatles have a song similar to Let Me Down, right? So then, for example, you say, in that case, when you turn down a date is because you don't want to, to go out with that person, right? Yes, that is like to kind of reject, to say no to something. Yes, uh, the, these two word verbs, depending on the context, they have different uh, different meanings, 
Okay, so that's what I told you yesterday that sometimes uh, when you have a verb that changes the meaning according to the context, it's a two word verb. Because an action, a verb like look, like uh, study, uh, play, uh, work, those verbs never change the meaning. Okay, but when it is a two word verb, like in the case of turn down, sometimes can be to reject, sometimes can be turn down the volume. Okay, and then uh, you're turning, turning me down is also like, you know, I feel kind of uh, disappointed. Okay, because of uh, you are not taking advantage of this. Yes, okay. they have different meanings. Yes, you're right. Uh, today I sent you a link also where you can find uh, a lot, a lot more information in the it's in the WhatsApp chat, so that you can copy that link, and you know little by little you can go and look up other verbs and other words and then uh, investigate a little bit more. Okay. Uh, but, what, mm -hmm. about, what about the the first verb left left uh, out? I don't remember. What is the another that the that used the the dog in the example? Ah, uh, uh, let the dog out. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, when you have... How uh, how in another uh, form that I that I can I like, use? Take out. Take out the dog. Or there, there is a little difference because you take out the dog, you go, you go with the dog, okay. And if you let, if you let the dog out, then the dog can go alone and come back, okay. If you have a very well tamed or trained dog, an obedient dog, sometimes they go to the street and they come back. Okay, so you let them out. Okay, you say you let the dog out. And sometimes you go and walk with the dog. That is take out. I can see it. this language is similar uh, about this Spanish and uh, uh, some way because uh, uh, the cinnamon, cinnamon, I, I don't know if. Uh, Synonyms. The, the synonyms. The uh -huh. synonyms. Synonyms. Uh -huh. Synonyms. It's like an in Spanish. No? Yes. Uh, Somehow, yeah. There are, I mean, there are many, many uh, uh, meanings. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. Exactly. Oh, uh, different forms that I've been using. Yes. Uh, uh, there are some, in some cases, yes, it's similar, in other cases, no. But uh, it's similar, it's similar to it. And uh, remember that uh, phrasal verbs are very, very commonly used in, let's say, uh, not really informal English, but it's every day. Uh, sometimes in also in formal English, in an email or a letter, it is possible, to, I mean, you can use these verbs. Okay, in other cases, maybe not, but uh, uh, phrasal verbs, we use them uh, every day. Whereas, okay, so then it's, uh, it's necessary to, to learn those verbs, okay? Good. Now, let's listen to this video again, just for you to refresh. is as important. Please listen and practice the stress in two part verbs. Pronunciation. Stress in two part verbs. Part A. Listen and practice. Both words in a two part verb receive equal stress. Pick up the toys. Turn off the light. Pick the toys up. Turn the light off. Pick them up. Turn it off. Now that you have listened to the stress, go ahead and practice saying the following two part verbs. Okay. 
but also pronunciation is as important. Please listen and practice the stress in two part verbs. Pronunciation. Stress in two part verbs. Part A. Listen and practice. Both words in a two part verb receive equal stress. Pick up the toys. Okay, let's pick up, pick up the toys. If you see the ball says pick up the toys. Say pick up the toys. Pick up the toys. Pick up the toys. Turn off the light. Okay, turn pick off. Pick the toys up. Turn, turn the light off. off. Pick them up. Turn it off. Now that you have listened to the stress, go ahead and practice saying. Pick the okay, now we have pick up the toys, turn off the light, pick the toys up, turn the light off, pick them up, turn it off. Okay, say turn it off. Okay, good. Uh, Luis Miguel, could you read the six sentences? Uh... Uh, that this one pick up the toys turn off the light pick the toys up pick turn the light the... off mm -hmm. okay uh, pick up the pick up the toys turn off the light pick uh, pick the toys up right yes turn the light off okay pick pick them up turn turn it off turn it off turn it off turn it turn off. off yes that's correct okay maria tell me read the sentences yeah uh pick up the toys turn off the light uh, pick the toys up, turn the lights off, pick them up, turn it off. Okay, very good. And Biden? Okay, let's go. Pick up the toys, turn off the light, pick the toy up, turn the light off, pick them up, turn it off. Okay, very good. Turn it off. Good. Amanda Jamilet Chicas de Rajo. Pick up the toys. Turn off the light. Pick the toys up. Can you speak louder? Or get close? Okay. Uh -huh. Pick up the toys. Yes. Turn off the light. Pick the toys up. Turn the light off. Okay. Pick them up. Turn it off. Very good. Nice. Okay, uh, Rebecca. Pick up the toys. Turn off the light. Pick the toys up. Turn the light off. Pick them up, turn up, turn it off. Turn it off, okay, turn it off. Very good, nice, good. Okay, Andrea, your turn. Pick up the toys. Pick up the toys, turn off the lights. Okay. Pick the toys up, turn the light off. Pick them up, turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Okay. If you see this one, you say turn it off. Turn it turn off. Like if it off. Oh, yeah. huh? turn it off. Good. Turn Mar it off. Martin. Turn it off. Yeah. Martin de Jesus. Hello, Martin. Martin Martin. Hi, teacher. Okay, Martin. Would you please read the sentences? Um, all teacher, all the sentence. Yes, please. Okay. Um, 
pick up the toys, turn off the, the light, pick up the toys up, turn, turn the light off, pick up, pick, pick them, pick them up, pick them pick up, them, pick them up, turn it off. Okay, good. Good. One tip, one tip for the pronunciation here is don't separate the words, right? Read it as one. Turn it off. Okay? Like in Spanish. Okay. okay. What is a, ¿qué es un, ¿Cuál es una oración que decimos así bien de una sola palabra? Um, Think in Spanish, everybody. I don't know, teacher. Yes. ¿Dónde? Ah, uh, that's one. Hay una frase que se me espera, me voy a ver. Ah, uh -huh. yes or no? Okay, so yeah. esto es igual. Turn it off. Turn it off. Just like that. Ajá, uh -huh. turn it off. Se ve como una sola palabra. Sí, turn. Yeah. Sí, lo correcto sería, permítame, voy a ir a ver, right? Aquí sería, pick them up. But nobody speaks like that. Okay. Uh, yeah. okay. When people speak in English, they say, pick it up, turn it off. Say, turn it off. Y por aquí uno dice, ¿qué? Right? Because uh, they se unen las palabras, right? Like in, in the Spanish. Movies. Uh -huh, exactly. In the movies, movies, in the songs, yeah. uh, videos, uh, in the in the street when people speak. Okay. Yeah. So then you say, you say, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up the toys. Say, turn off the lights. Okay. Pick the toys up, toys up, pick the toys up, turn the light off, turn the light off. Okay, pick them up and say, pick them up. Okay, fuera map, pick them up and turn it off. Okay, Anna, read them. Okay, pick up the toys, turn the light, pick the toy off, turn the light off, pick them up, turn it off. Turn it off. That's the way it is. Good. Okay. Uh, scissor. Uh, pick up the toys. Turn off the light. Pick the toys up. Turn the light off. Pick them up. Turn it off. Turn it off. Okay. Good. Herbert. Okay. Pick up the toy. Turn off the light. Pick. Pick the toy up, turn the light off, pick them up, turn it off. Turn it off. Okay. Turn. Juan Carlos. <clears throat> pick up the toys, turn off the light, pick the toys up, turn the light off, pick the on up, turn it off. Turn it off. Okay. Pick them up, turn it off. Okay. Good. So remember, this is the pronunciation, right, of these words. The toy is up. Turn the light off. Pick them up. Turn it off. Turn it off. Now that you have listened to the stress, go ahead and practice saying the following two part verbs. Okay. So here we have. Pick up Hi again. again. Remember. Pick up our things. <laughs> okay, so we have pick up our things. Pick up our yeah, things. things cut it off. out. Cut it out. Drop, drop, Dro off. drop me off. Turn the Turn radio, the up, radio up, up. And put the, put phone, the phone down. down. Okay, put the phone down, turn the radio up. Questions about these words, like pick up our things, cut it out, drop me off. Okay, pick up our things is when we have to. Okay, mm -hmm. we finish here, it's time to go. So then we say pick up our things. Okay. Uh, and the other one is when you use, the second one says cut it out. Okay, cut out is when you have to, uh, you have a piece of paper and then you need to cut with the scissors, right? You cut yeah. it out. 
yeah. drop me off. It's like give me a ride to suppose you have a car, I don't have a car, and then you pass near my house, and I say, Could you please drop me off okay. near my house? Okay. Could you please drop me off near my house? Could you drop uh please drop me off near a uh, that's delicious, right? So then you say drop drop me off like aventarme por ahí, right? Uh-huh. I'm an Yeah, like drop. And, and we use that in Spanish, right? I me pasa tirando por por tal parte, right? So this is like this, drop, because drop is botar, yeah. tirar, right? So then when you say drop me off, it would be something like that. Informal, right? It's informal. Not literal. <laughs> okay, it's not literal. It's just informal. Turn the radio up. So we need to listen music, but to the top. So turn the radio yeah. up. And then you say, put the phone down, okay? Put it on the table, okay? Then concentrate. Forget yeah. about the telephone for a minute, okay? Good, that was for the pronunciation. And now you will practice making requests using models with can, could, would, and would you mind? and gerunds, okay, and gerunds as well. Do you remember this? What is a model verb? No. I guess, I guess that you know, but uh, sometimes uh, they use like the... Yeah, like like dichos, dichos? Uh, no, these are... Um, for example, we have verbs, right? Actions yeah. like uh, sleep, listen, uh, eat, uh, read. So those are verbs. Yeah. But there are some model verbs that we use sometimes for questions or to sound more educated, more polite. Yeah. For example, we have a uh, can is to express a uh, ability. Okay, can you speak English? Yes, I can. Can you play soccer? No, I can't. Oh, yes, I can. Can you play basketball? Okay, uh, can you uh, can you read Chinese? So this is abilities. Okay. And then in present. And then you have could. Could is the past tense of can. But it's... Excuse me, teacher. Uh... Yes. I have a question. Go ahead, go ahead. Um, no sabe cuándo van a habilitar en la plataforma este el manual de estudio. Eh, that's what eh, Maria was telling me. Is, yo creí que ya la tenían desde ayer, right? Actually, uh, pero me dice que no la tienen. Así que voy a escribir mañana en la mañanita para, para ver por qué no se las han habilitado. Porque he visto también en el chat que lo han puesto. Y como que no ha habido respuesta. Y todo, ninguno la tiene, ni el manual. No, yo no la tengo tampoco. Ok, perfect. So then we're going to, to I'm going to uh, talk to the group of uh, facilitators so that we can see what happens, ok? But it, it should be tomorrow. I hope that they give it to you tomorrow, ok? So that you can have it. Because three days is too much. Because we have to finish the actually two sections this 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 week okay so then it's you are late that's what i gave you the i told you to have the screenshot so that you can move faster to complete the the platform hopefully tomorrow rebecca i hope okay then we have uh let me see this one uh, and could would and uh, would you mind these are questions that we use to be polite. For example, do you want some coffee? It's normal. Okay, it's, uh, let's say is a standard question, right? But if I say, would you like some coffee? Okay, yeah. would you like some coffee? Sounds more educated, more polite, 
okay, uh, more formal, okay? Do you want some coffee informal? Which is correct. And would you like, would you like some coffee? That's more polite and people, you know, will really um, appreciate that question. Uh, would you mind, okay, telling if it is, we say, te importaría, right? Would you mind telling me your name? Would you mind helping me with this? Would you mind answering this question? Okay, so then you're gonna use a uh, model verbs. Okay. Now we're going to listen to the, to watch the video and then we're going to talk about this. Hi, we're about to make requests using modal verbs. Notice when to use the simple form of a verb and when to use a gerund. Stay around for more explanation. Request with modals and would you mind? Modal plus simple form of verb. Can you turn the stereo off? Could you close the door, please? Would you please take your garbage out? Would you mind plus gerund. Would you mind turning the stereo down? Would you mind closing the door, please? Would you mind not putting your garbage here? When we talk about requests, it is okay to say, please turn the stereo off to people we know well. We should use a more polite request, however, for neighbors and strangers. Models become more formal and more polite from can to could to would. Notice the structure. Model plus subject plus simple form of verb. Usually, we add the word please at the end of the request when using could and we use please in the middle of the sentence to make a stronger emphasis on the request with would. However, please may be omitted. Now let's go over with would you mind. When we use the entire expression would you mind, the verb which is more formal and more polite from can to could. Okay, this is what I was telling you, right? <clears throat> can is, let's say, less formal. Could and would is more formal. Okay, when I say, can you, uh, can you help me? Okay, is I'm asking you, request for help. It's a request, can you help me? Like, you also say, could you help me? Okay, and if you say, could you help me is the same request, but it would sound more polite. Yeah. Okay, if you say, would you? Would you help me with this? Would you give me a hand with this? Would you give me a hand with this uh, topic? Uh, would you mind, uh, well, this is the one, would you mind helping me with the pronunciation? To would, notice the structure. Model plus subject plus simple form of verb. Usually, we add the word please at the end of the request when using could. A request when using a request when using a simple form of verb. Usually we add the word please. Notice the structure. Model. Okay, what is the structure? They say in a question, they say model. Model. The subject and the verb. What is the model? Could. Okay. Could you could you, you help? Help could me. you give me right? Could you uh what else? Could you probably uh study? Okay, could you be quiet? Could you uh pay this for me? Could you return this book to the library for me? Okay, this is the structure that you use for you say could. Okay, could you say model could he could you stay in the house could you okay go to work tomorrow could you teach my class okay that's model subject verb 
plus subject plus simple form of verb. Usually, we add the word please at the end of the request when using could, and we use please in the middle. Okay, if you use please at the end, it's, uh, let's say, very good, right? Could you help me with this, please? Okay. Uh, could you bring me a glass of water, please? Right? But if you put it in the middle, could you please bring me a glass of water is more emphasis. Okay. The teacher in the school with the children. Okay, children, could you please, uh, could you be quiet, please? Could you uh, continue working, please? But if they don't pay attention, they say, okay, kids, could you please be quiet? Okay, so that is more emphasis. When you put please in the middle of the sentence, okay? At the end is the standard, the normal one, okay? Middle of the sentence to make a stronger emphasis on the request with would. However, please may be omitted. Now let's go over with would you mind. When we use the entire expression would you mind, the verb which follows must be a gerund. This is how it is formed. Would you mind plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement. We want you to notice two things. The use of please at the very end of the request Remember, you may or may not add it. And also notice a negative request. Would you mind plus not plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement. Would you mind writing three unusual requests on our discussion box? I have one for you. Could you lend me your toothbrush? Go ahead and have fun. Okay, so this is the structure, right? Would you mind? Okay, so we're going to... I'm going to be your, uh, will assist you. Okay. I'm going to use 24, make big letters. Okay, so we have here a, Could you bring a, your books? Could you bring your books? Okay, that could be one. Then we have the same sentence. Could you bring your books, please? And what is the other one? What is the other one? Could you? Could you could you bring your your phone number? Could you please? Could you please bring your books? Okay, three forms, right? In the first one, no, please, it's okay. It's a, but you say, could you? It's all, mm -hmm. something like, you know, me puede traer los libros, only. Okay, but you can say, could you bring your books, please? Okay, and the one is, could you please bring your books? This is with more emphasis. Now, Another question with uh, could, could you, 
What do you say, Maria? Say, could you bring? Bring. Oh, no, could you give me? You said, right? Could you give me your phone number? Yeah, phone number. Okay. Another one? You can use can or would. Would you? Would you? When you? Could you tell me? Yes, sir. Could you? Okay. Teacher. Could you please help me with my homework? Could you? Uh huh. Yes. Wait a minute. Could you please help me? With my homework. Okay. Uh huh. Could you please give me a bottle of water? Could you? Okay, let's try to say, I mean, that's correct, Miguel, no problem. But we can use can just to practice. Can you please bring me, right? Or, or give me. I say give me. Okay. But, but I, yeah, no, uh, it's okay. It's okay. Give me a glass of, no, a bottle of water, right? It's just bottle. bottle. A bottle, bottle of, water. of water. Okay. Then, um, water. You can use can, but you can also say could. I use the capital could or you can also use would or you can also use would you mind okay can you please give me a bottle of water could you please give me a bottle of water and would you please give me a bottle of water okay so these are model Model verbs. What is the something that you say? Can he? Uh, can he help us with the math? problem okay if you click here can only switch and you don't have to say can can he help me right the model the modal verbs you can use can if you have i you what is the other pronoun? You. You, he. He, she. It. We. They. We. They. Okay. They. So here we use. Can. Can I. Uh -huh, you can use good. And you can use would, and you can also use would mind. Okay, so you can use I can, can I, can you, can he, can she, can it, can we, can you, can they. You can say could you, could he, could she, could it, could we, could you, could they. This is uh, one, uh, let's say, characteristic of the modal verbs. They don't change. No tienen tercera persona, right? And remember, do and does, have and has. Okay, they have um, a third person. Can, could, would, hay otros, okay? Uh, also, we have 
Remember, we also have should. Okay, will, must, uh, might. Okay, we have may. Okay, so some some others, right? Some other, uh, let's say, model verbs. Right. Okay. Arab question. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't know what is the pronunciation. Arab. How you? Ah, auto. Auto. Yeah. Uh, this is similar. It's a synonym of should. Should. Uh huh. Auto. You ought to tell me. You should tell me. It's a synonym. Yep. Auto and should. Auto and should. Should. Auto. Will. Must. It's the okay. same. Yes. Uh huh. You ought to go. The only difference is that you have to say ought to go. And with should, you don't say should to go. You only say should go. Okay. That's the difference. Now, so then these are the, for example, the, now in the chat, please. Now you write some sentences just in can, could, would, for example, would you, uh, would you cook tonight? Remember, these are requests, okay? Estas son eh, eh, como pedir favores, right? Could, would you cook tonight? Okay. Model, subject, verb, Compliment. Okay. Would you clean? No, would you wash the dishes? Okay. Now, write uh, your sentences. Three sentences, would, can, and could. Can you go to a supermarket? Could you give me a right? Okay. I wrote four, you can write three. These are requests. Okay, remember, requests. So, okay. When you ask for a favor. Okay, when you're ready, you can write. Don't worry if they are, uh, if there is a little mistake. Remember, would you, would he, then the action. Could I go, could I go with?
Okay, yes. Will you please make the dinner? Good. Can you tie your shoelaces? Yes. Could she attend? Okay, could she help the client? Okay, attend is like, uh, like you, in this moment, you are attending the class. Okay, like attend in English is like assistir. Okay, then Byron, can you go to the park? Okay, would you eat the dinner? Mm -hmm. Could you give me, <laughs> could you give me peace? <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> Good, Byron. We need that. <laughs> okay, good. All right, good, Anna. No problem. Thank you. Uh, the other word for uh, ass assist, when you use assist in English, is when, for example, doctors assist patients. Okay. Good. Can he buy the cake? Okay. Would you please change the ticket? Yes. Could you go to? Could you? Could you go? Ith. I think there is something there. Wait. Ah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. W. Ah. Uh, the W's. Yes. Could you go with me, please? Perfect. Yes. That's true, that's a request. Hey, I need to go to the bank. Could you go with me, please? Yes. Okay, would you, would you come with me is another way to say it. Okay, good. Okay, just let me check. Here we have uh, the attendance. Now we're gonna check the attendance. Uh, Amanda Yamilet is here. No. Ah, oh, yes, yes, Amanda is here. Uh, Ana Beatriz, yes, correct, is here. Uh, we have Andrea Dayanara. Andrea, Andrea. Present. Where are you, Andrea? I don't see you. Oh, yes, 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 I saw you. <laughs> yes. Uh, Mercy. Where are you, Mercy? Mercy is not here today. Uh, Angel Isaac. Uh, no, he was here yesterday. Byron, yes. Byron Giovanni. Uh, Cesar Ivan. Cesar, Cesar. Yes, Cesar Rauda. And Dennis Adonai. No. Then we have Herbert Adam. Present. Oh, yes, Herbert, you are. Uh, Juan Carlos Cubillas, yes. Present teacher. Catherine Johanna. Catherine. Catherine is not here today. Kenia Yamilet. Kenia. Luis Miguel, yes, right. Luis Miguel Mejia. Yes, Maria Delmi. Yes. Yeah. Martin de Jesus. Yes. Yes, Martin. Uh, Nuria Sarai. Children come. Rebecca Abigail. Yes. Yes, there you are, Rebecca. And Stephanie Yamilet. Okay. Then uh, let me read more sentences. Can he... Can he buy the cake? Would you please change the ticket? Yes. Could you take me to the doctor? It's a good one. This is a good request, Rebecca. Very nice. Uh, can you help me, please, with that question? Yes, that's correct, Maria. Could could I go with you to the trip? <laughs> good. And would you explain? Would you explain? that will you explain that to me again please okay remember that when you're in english when you say the word explain is could you explain a uh, this topic to me because uh if i say can you explain me that's in spanish uh, yeah. but it, it would be like 
in English, they don't say, okay, explain me. You say, explain to me. Okay. To me, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. And that's it in the base form. Okay. No, no ED. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Good. That's one. Okay, good. Then tomorrow we're gonna have a a practice in the breakout rooms. And right now we're going to finish just one more exercise before we go. Before we departure, before we leave. Okay, we have the knowledge check. Now, there are two, four, six answers. And then we have six requests. For the first one, we say, could you lend me $20? We're sorry, we'll talk more quietly. I'm sorry, I'll do it right away. Sorry, I didn't realize this seat was taken. Are you kidding? I don't have any cash. I'm really sorry, but I'm busy. Sure, no problem. I'd be glad to. Which one is the best answer for that? Are you kidding? Uh-huh. Are you kidding? I don't have any cash. I don't have any cash. Okay. Can you get me a sandwich? Can you get me a sandwich? Which is the best answer for this? Now you only have five options. Uh, so sure, no problem. I'd like to. Sure, no problem. My pleasure. I'll be happy to do I so. Know. Good. Can you help me move my uh, to my new house? Can you Maybe help me? I, I'm really sorry, but I but I'm busy. Busy? Yes. Very good. Very good. Uh, would you mind not sitting here? Sorry, we'll talk more quietly. Oh, sorry, yeah. I didn't realize this city was taken. Yes, sorry, I didn't realize this set was taken. Mm -hmm. Number five. Five, could you move your car from my space? The first one. The first the one, car. we're sorry. We're so uh, oh, no. I'm sorry, I took it right away. Uh -huh, I'm sorry, yeah. I'll do it right away, immediately. Yeah. And the last one, would you oh. mind not talking so loudly? I the first the, one. Yes, the that's the first one. That's correct. Okay. Veamos cuánto me saqué en mi platform. Sí, one. Two. Three, four. Wow. I'm an excellent student. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is team, team, teamwork. Okay. Teamwork. Very good, people. Everybody. Okay, so we have this one, and there we go. Okay, so tomorrow we are going to continue with some uh, oral practice. And then we have the last one, which is a, a reading about this topic. And then we begin tomorrow the section two. Okay, people, thank you very mm -hmm. much for your time. Go and rest, sleep, dream. Ah, oh, there is a homework. Yes. Dream in English. What? Okay. Dream in English. 
We yes. try this. Okay, teacher. We please, <laughs> please, okay? Cuando sueñen en inglés me avisan, okay? Porque van yeah, ya yeah. on first time. Good. I, okay. I dream on the... In Chinese. In the past. In the past. <laughs> In the past, ah, uh -huh, in the past. Yeah, in the past, yeah, yeah. Okay. I hope good. no is an the, nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anna. I be, before I I I enter to the, in this course, I I dream about. In English. I, I I'm talking about English. Okay. Yeah, no, it's yeah. very it's very nice when you dream and then you see yourself. Speaking English, say, hey, wow, I speak very good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, very well, very well. well. Okay, so have a very good night. See you tomorrow, okay, same time, and practice as much as you can, okay? Bye-bye. Okay. Good, Bye. good night. Good night.